Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have some really cool stuff that I'll have to be, talk about today. Three big stories, potential Nintendo Direct news. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to announce a brand new giveaway we have going on now through the month of February. It's actually our February giveaway, but because of some snafus that happened with a potential partner who I'm not going to name, I've decided to forego them and just say, screw it, we're doing it ourselves. So right now we are giving away a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or Switch OLED. It'll basically be a console of choice by the winner. All you have to do is go down to the gleam.io link down in the description or the pinned comment. We also have a couple other giveaways that are wrapping up this week, so I'm just going to mention them quickly. We're also giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus this week, and yes, we are giving away $100 cash to one new subscriber in the month of January. So yeah, we kind of got a jump start on the February one because of a partner snafu, but you know what? Screw it. Let's have a good time and uh, get into today's news. So the first thing I want to talk about is this weird thing because we still don't have Grand Theft Auto 5 on Switch, right? We got the trilogy remaster, which was sort of a hot mess, but has been cleaned up a little bit since. Uh, but we still don't have Grand Theft Auto 5 that was on the Xbox 360 yeah two generations ago this game came out we got skyrim from back then on switch why can't we get grand theft auto 5 well some of people speculate it's because it's about the online multiplayer maybe switch for some reason can't handle the online multiplayer and they did kill the online multiplayer on the xbox 360 version anyway so that could actually be the reason but what's weird is a fan went out there and modified a game boy to play grand theft auto 5 and when I say modified, they didn't do anything. It's just the original OG Game Boy playing Grand Theft Auto V. Not a joke. Now, to be clear, obviously the hardware inside a Game Boy could not play Grand Theft Auto V. What they ended up doing is creating a customized game cartridge that could stream the game from a PC to the Game Boy and actually have all the buttons and everything work and obviously have it be in all its pixelated glory on that screen. So yeah, it's pretty cool. By the way, we've had Grand Theft Auto 5 ran on Switch in this way, although it required the Switch to actually be hacked. In this case, the Game Boy itself isn't hacked, it's a Game Boy cartridge. Uh, in case of Switch, you would hack the Switch itself and then put Android on and run streaming apps from there. But yeah, I, I just think it's kind of cool that somebody did this and it always reminds me why the hell isn't this game on Switch? I know what the real reasons probably are, but I don't care. It's from two generations ago. Telling me you couldn't get that online multiplayer to work on Switch? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can't. Uh, next up, this is a weird story that has been making rounds in the last day. Um, it has to do with Mario Kart 8. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is going under uh, like down today the online is going down today for five hours the official update from nintendo says on january 25th from 4 30 p.m to 9 p.m pacific time mario kart 8 deluxe will undergo expected and standard maintenance online play features will not be available during this time we apologize for any convenience this may cause and the reason that this is getting a lot of pub is one this online maintenance is happening during prime gameplay hours that's number one it's really really long maintenance most online maintenance is only an hour and mario kart 8 deluxe has only had this happen twice last time they had any sort of maintenance was back in may of 2021 and that fixed a couple bugs in the game and the last time before that was all the way back in 2018. so they don't do this often for this game now this made me wonder what's the big deal with it this time and why is it five hours and why is it during prime time is this because they're preparing to announce mario kart 9 no i do think however the nintendo is finally going into mario kart 8 deluxe's online and maybe making it run on the new servers. I don't think they're going to announce this. I don't think they're gonna make a big deal out of it, but I do think they wanna move Mario Kart 8 Deluxe onto their new server infrastructure as they start to transition away from the old servers. So that's what I really think is happening and the real reason they need five hours during prime time because they need a lot more employees on hand to handle a transition from old servers to new servers. This wouldn't be something you would just do in the middle of the night randomly on a Tuesday. You're gonna need a lot of employees there because there's probably gonna be some issues. So yeah, that's what I think is happening and I do think that's a big deal. However, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Online already worked really, really well. Uh, so I don't really think that us as fans are gonna notice any difference. But I do think that this could be in preparation of testing things for a new Mario Kart. But yeah, I 
I, I honestly think that this is much to do about nothing publicly, but internally, eh, you never know. There could be something there. Now this last story is what I guess most of the video is about. It's in the title, Nintendo Direct, right? We all expect a Nintendo Direct at some point early in the year. Okay, we didn't get it in January. Well, I mean, technically, I guess we still get it this week. Nintendo doesn't usually give us more than 24 hours notice, so they would announce it tomorrow, but I don't think it's in January. Uh, we have Legends of Arceus coming out this week, so it would be really weird if they did a direct the same week. Um, obviously, we have February, where right now there's no major Switch games. March, we got two big games coming out, so maybe they do a direct in March. Here's the thing. I've always been on the, on the train. Because of Legends of Arceus, we're not getting a Nintendo Direct till February. Well, now we have some potential evidence that we are going to have some sort of event announcing games next month. So Nintendo Dream Magazine, which is not an official Nintendo magazine, but does get early copies of games from Nintendo for the purpose of the magazine coverage, um, put out a tease for their February 21st issue. In that February 21st issue, in the little tease they put advertised in it, in their most recent magazine, they mentioned things like, yeah, we're gonna be talking about Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which makes a lot of sense because it comes out really quickly after that magazine comes out. However, they mentioned, we also get to talk about a brand new announced game that has everyone in a tizzy. Now look, I don't really know what this game is. They, they obviously can't talk about it yet because it hasn't been announced. But it's interesting when you think about just announced because it means, hey, obviously there's a game being announced next month that we don't know about. Um, I, I can't wait to see what that is. It's obviously, I presume, related to a Nintendo Direct. Lots of rumors on when the Direct's gonna come. Is it, 20, is it the 17th? Is it the 24th? Is it the 10th? You know, those are all Thursdays. I, I have no idea. I, you can make your predictions right now. I think 17th, but it, it it could literally be any other day. It could be a Tuesday, it could be a Monday. Nintendo's done weird things with directs in the past. So I'm not gonna be able to tell you what day it's coming, but I will say that one, we should already expect it. And two, now we have a magazine that got access to a game that hasn't been announced yet, teasing us. So here's hoping that that's related to the direct. Um, as for what could be at this direct, obviously advertising for Kirby and Project Triangle strategy. But I do think they're gonna set up their lineup pretty much through June, if not through July. They usually don't like to announce games in June to release in July. So I do think they're gonna have basically from now through July, maybe even August taken care of in this direct. And then whatever direct in the summer, whether it's at E3 or just a direct on its own, will end up covering the rest of the year. And then we'll get our September one that re-advertises the holidays and then teases 2023. Really weird to be talking about 2023 right now. We're still in the first month of 2022, but yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. So as for what this game could be, who knows, man. Nintendo has so many games already scheduled for this year. Maybe it's Metroid Prime 4. Maybe it's I, I, I a new Mario game, I, Mario Kart. I, it could be anything. So I want you guys to actually go down in the comments and Assuming this new game being announced is actually made by Nintendo, what game do you think it is? Make a prediction down below, and I guess we'll see by the time the Nintendo Dream Magazine comes out, if nothing else, if you were correct. Of course, we'll probably know before then because it will be announced because that magazine's not announcing the game. So, Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can obviously tell I am feeling under the weather. No, I don't have COVID. It's just a cold, but the cold was kicking my ass all weekend. Uh, so... Yeah, but we're to a point now where I'm actually able to talk so I can talk and record videos again. So we're back to making content and doing the best I can while I'm feeling up and well enough to do it. So thank you guys as always for your support. Uh, this has been a lot of fun and be sure to tune in tonight to our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond stream. It should be the last time we stream that game ever. Uh, we should be beating the final gym and hopefully the Elite Four tonight. Um, and that's it. Our next live stream for games will probably be on Friday when we live stream Pokemon Legends Arceus for launch. And then I have no idea what we're playing next Tuesday. Are we playing more Legends Arceus? Are we going to go play some Mario Party Superstars? Are we going to play some other new game? Maybe an indie game? I have no idea. I guess tune in and find out. Catch you guys in the next video.